Hello guys, Crafty here again with another episode of Dark Souls How To. Now, in this episode we are going to show you how to access sorceries in a very early stage of the game. Uh, we're going to be accessing the ability to purchase sorceries <laughs> from Griggs. Now, in order to get Griggs normally, you would have to find the basement key, which is in the Undead Parish. So you would have to go through the Undead Parish, find the basement key, go back over the Wyvern Bridge, and unlock the door slide. No. 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 Here on How To, uh, we strive to find methods on how to do things under five minutes. And this is one of the ways. So, in order to do this, we're going to need the Residence Key. Now, the Residence Key can be gotten from this Undead Merchant down here. As if you've watched my Uchi Katana video, you will understand how to do this. Now you can purchase the residency, the, the residence key from him, or you can just um, whiff over his head with the great scythe. <laughs> You've gone but mad, have you? You can either buy I'll the residence key from him for, I believe, a thousand rat. souls, Julia. or you can just Julia. slaughter him outright with uh, the utterly Why badass me? great Mitchell. scythe. Um, I upped Julia. my strength and my dex to 14 oh. just to use this, but there's the residence key for killing him and a bonus Uchi Katana, which probably won't be used on this character, but I can because it's only 14 decks. But as you can see, the range on this, not to gush about this Great Scythe, but you can see he hops back, but he's still within range of the Great Scythe. Nasty, nasty. Okay, that was part one. Get the residence key. Part two. Deal with these guys right here. Now, again, the range of the Great Scythe is utterly disgusting. Disgusting, as you can see, that's the uh, R2 heavy attack right there, little sweeping motion. It covers one half of your total front. So if you swing, you're going to hit anything within your within that entire half in front of you. Uh, so anyway, not to gush, but right there, that little landing where that door is, that's what you're aiming for. You're going to quick roll off of this roof, and you're going to miss a lot of times like this. But this is what you're aiming for. This little landing right here. So a little bit to the left of the ladder, and you'll land right there. Now, heal up. Not that it's really going to kill you. Now, this is starting base vitality, so this will not kill you. But you'll want to jump over to that, that side on the right. So you're going to get a little bit of a running start. So uh, do what I do here, get a little bit of a running start, and then turn and then jump immediately after turning. Your, your, your foot's going to be right on the edge of that. Now, heal up immediately as you hit. Uh, I really don't have time to explain a lot of this, but do that jump. Uh, you can kill this dog if you want. It might not be a bad idea. It's a decent amount of souls. Plus, he's probably going to destroy you from behind. <coughs> now, you're going to run up toward that fire. Do not stop. Three doors will open, and three thieves will come after you. Make sure you run forward with your shield up, because that dog is going to attack you. You have another one behind you. Don't worry. Run to the right of the fire, and then behind it immediately. That will take care of the dogs jumping at you. Stay behind the fire if you want. You can uh, lure them out like that and have them hit the fire, and they will eventually kill themselves. As you see right there, there's a death. But uh, sometimes they'll be a little smart, they'll try to heal. You can try to take care of them, but don't be too gutsy, because there's three of them, and they will gang up on you, and they will slaughter you, because this is a part of the game you should not be in right now. But uh, just take your time. There should be three dogs. There's uh, uh, two dogs there. I killed the one over there. And the three dead thieves. There is no other enemies. So go to this door here. Somebody. Some. <coughs> I'm fit. How Talk to Griggs through the door. Use the residence key. There's Griggs. Brilliant. Thank you. All you I have to do is think... talk to him twice, I believe. He'll say he's going back to the Fire Island Shrine I'm, in the second I'm, conversation. Just... Right oh, there, I think you said something about the Firelink Shrine. Do not forget to get this. This gives you a free catalyst. See the catalyst at the bottom gives you a free Sorcerer's Catalyst. Very useful. Now, when Griggs is back at the Firelink Shrine, you have to have an intelligence of 10. Otherwise, he will not sell you sorceries. So that's the, that's the rub of that. So if you go back to the Firelink Shrine and he will not talk to you or sell you sorceries... That is why you have to have a base intelligence of 10. Now, before you leave this area, go back up to here and unlock this shortcut. This shortcut is very useful. <laughs> Just 
just run back to the bonfire and thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video take care bye bye and game on